Hello. Welcome again. Depends upon types of engine control system, procedure for testing main engine safety alarms and trips may vary. Today, I have planned to test main engine safety alarms and trips by following NAT Tesco M800 V engine control system. As first, let's try main engine over speed trip. Select test mode on screen. After then, increase RPM to over speed level. In this engine, overspeed RPM is set at 110 revolutions per minute. When RPM reaches 110 RPM, emergency stop signal actives and overspeed trip will happen. Overspeed trip also displays on auto emergency stop list. Activated alarms were also recorded in monitor log of control system. Press cause reset button on the screen to deactivate alarm. This engine is 6 UEC 42 LSH, Eco, D3 engine and, its critical speed ranges from 45 to 56 RPM. Now, you can see interlocks for this engine on screen. If one interlock of them actives, you cannot start main engine. Operation of valves and system during engine operation, also can be observed on screen. A second, I will test manual emergency stop. Press manual emergency stop button on CDP unit. Alarm will activate and engine will stop. We can stop main engine with manual emergency stop from three places. Engine control room, wheelhouse and engine side control. To reset alarm, press again manual emergency stop button on CDP unit. And then, press cause reset on screen to deactivate alarm. Alarm also recorded in monitor log, same likes over speed trip. Now, we will test fuel oil leakage alarm. Fuel oil leakage alarm is one of the most safety alarms most inspectors frequently test. As first, remove cover of sensor connection. Disconnect one terminal of level sensor. At that time, fuel oil leakage alarm will activate. Retighten connection and close cover of connections. Hydraulic oil leakage alarm is fitted on most of electronically controlled engines. Depend upon makers and models of engine, location of hydraulic oil leakage tank can vary. Likes fuel oil leakage alarm, open cover of terminal connection. Alarm is going to activate after one terminal of sensor is disconnected. 
Retighten connection and close cover of terminals. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again.